kind of uh, restrictions that are put on the vote are going to impact service members and veterans disproportionately, and I just think that that's a travesty. Um, I think that the story of this country is about having your voice heard, and I think that at our best, the story of America is about expanding the franchise and uh, letting people be heard, and I think that I really felt what it meant to have to work for that and to have made sacrifices for that. Um, it was very difficult to get my absentee ballot mailed in in 2008 when I was in Iraq. Um, the second moment that I think was really transformative for me um, was witnessing the 2009 Iraqi provincial elections in Baghdad. While those elections were by no means perfect, uh, certainly not a model election, um, they were a start. And I think that they were a start for a new story for Iraqis, um, one that would be decided by the people themselves. You know, every day in Minnesota, there are kids who go hungry, there are kids that go to schools that are failing them, there are seniors who cut their pills in half to cut down on costs, there are people who are unemployed, there are people who are experiencing homelessness. There are problems this state has to solve. And every day, the people cry out for a government and a legislature that doesn't just look out for them, but represents them. And the legislature's solution to that was to put forward an amendment on marriage and an amendment on presenting a photo ID in order to vote. And I think they are fundamentally out of touch with the needs of everyday Minnesotans. And I think that's a real shame. I tell my story and I actually went from uh, really never sharing my experiences in Baghdad or Iraq and really throughout the entire time I was in the military just because it caused me a lot of pain. You know, it wasn't something that I really wanted to just open my mouth about and share and I've really found through this campaign in sharing my story that people will understand, people will empathize, people will support and uh, most of all, they'll get it. You know, people will talk about doing away with government and things like that, but I'll, I mean, I'll tell you firsthand, that's not the way to do things. I mean, society is at its strongest when the most people are participating and the most people are having a meaningful contribution to society. And voting rights are a huge part of that. 